So Apple just had their keynote and the iPhone 6 was just announced. In this video, I will be talking about my favorite five new features of the iPhone 6 and also the 6 Plus. So I'm going to try to make this video as short and simple as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. As we all expected, the iPhone 6 will come in two different screen sizes. The iPhone 6 will be a 4.7 inch device and the iPhone 6 Plus will be a 5.5 inch device. So the glass on the front curves around the edge and Apple calls this new resolution Retina HD. The iPhone 6 has a 1334 by 750 resolution screen. It's 326 pixels per inch. And the iPhone 6 Plus with a larger display comes in at 1080p, which is full HD. Both are IPS displays and they improved the color reproduction, the contrast, and the overall saturation. Unfortunately, the iPhone 6 does not feature sapphire glass display. And by the way, with a larger iPhone size, the power button is now on the side, so it's much easier to press. You don't have to reach to the top to press the power button. The iPhone 6 is also the thinnest iPhone yet, coming in at 6.9 millimeters and the iPhone 6 Plus is 7.1 millimeters, so they're all thinner than the iPhone 5S. Inside the iPhone 6, it has a new processor. It's the A8 processor, which Apple claims is 25% faster than the A7 processor, and this has a 50% faster graphics chip. This also has a second generation 64-bit processor, and compared to the original iPhone, this processor is rated to be 50 times faster, and for the graphics, it's 84 times faster. Apple also says the A8 processor is 50% more power efficient, so it stays cool and doesn't overheat often. Apple is also introducing a new motion coprocessor, the M8. The motion processor sits alongside the A8, which measures movement, elevation, and steps. So this can be very useful for fitness application because this can measure uh, your elevation. So when you climb a mountain or climb steps, it can measure your movement. The iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus also has a much improved battery. So here's a chart comparing the battery life on the 6 Plus, the 6 and the 5S. So you can see that the new iPhones does have a much improved battery life, especially the 6 Plus. This also has a new iSight camera with a new sensor. The sensor is still 8 megapixels, but this has a lot of new features. The iPhone 6 will have digital image stabilization but the iPhone 6 Plus will have optical stabilization. The camera lens on the 6 Plus actually has motion, so this can reduce blurry shots, especially in low light situations. This also has a new feature called focus pixel in the camera, which basically allows the phone to use face detection autofocus, which is similar to something that you would find in the DSLR. And the autofocus can be up to two times faster than the last generation iPhone. The slow motion feature has also improved from 120 frames per second to 240 frames per second. So you can capture even slower motion with the iPhone 6. There are also many new camera features on iOS 8, such as the time-lapse feature. There's also continuous autofocus while shooting video with the new eyesight sensor. So you can pre-order this on September 12th, and it's going on sale on September 19th. The price starts at $199 for the 16 gigabyte version of the iPhone 6, and $299 for the iPhone 6 Plus. The storage goes from 16 to 64 and 128 gigabytes. The phone will be available in three different colors, the same as the iPhone 5S, gold, silver, and space gray. So these were my favorite features of the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share this video on your social networks so more people can watch this video and know more information about the new iPhone 6. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. I'm very active on these three social networks. Links will be in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.